Right, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to show you my two stroke uh, leak down um, kit, my setup. Um, I've got two setups uh, this one here and this one here. Um, and what these are for, if you don't know, it are obviously two stroke, two stroke engines. Um, um, these are for when you do compression tests on the engine on with these. These are crankcase sense pressures or of low, not um, not to be muddled up with um, normal compressor testing. What is secondary comp compression? What is uh, when you stick it straight to a straight in the spark plug hole and turn the engine over and you build up like over 100 pound of pressure this is completely different, it's done on low, very low pressure and it's also done on the vacuum um, even four stroke a uh, four stroke um, crankcase testing is done um, different to this, this is only for two stroke engines but also with this kit you can test petrol tanks, petrol lines, um, carbs um, I'll do a video on all them to show you but you need to see the kit first so that um, I can show you what you need um, basically how this works is I bought this kit this kit first, well I had this bit and I've added this to make a kit but it works out just as dear as to buy the this we this is the the dog's dangly bits. This is this is nuts, it really is. And there's a few bits you have to make up yourself. Um, but I will show you. So let's move on to the cheap kit first and what I thought was gonna be a cheaper kit first. And you might have some of these bits at home to make your own up. Right, so I'll move on to that first. Right, so this is a bit wobbly because um when I come into the garage this morning, I realised that somehow the uh, tripod got broken, so I'm holding it by hand. <laughs> um, so, right. When I, when I wanted to set my own kit up, I thought I want to do it as cheap as possible. So, I first of all wanted to buy uh, a decent pressure or half decent pressure gauge. Um, there are several, so many ways you can do. You can make your own kit up. Isn't it? You, know, you just have to put a bit of thought into it. This, in my dear local dealership, and uh, I think they, in uh, you know, trade places I u use, they want over hundred pound plus VAT for one of these. Uh, that's a joke, um, because it's a special bit of kit. I bought this one off eBay for forty pound. This kit well, I've got here, trying to make it cheap. By the way. Um, it's a dear way of doing it so I'm showing you this now because if you've got these bits at home and you want to make a kit up then that's the way to go but to buy them separate um, it's a very dear way to go when you can buy that kit there what is brilliant absolutely brilliant value um, yeah so you've got to go that way but I'm, I'm going to show you just because you've got this at home or you only need one little bit or something so I've got that for pressure then I thought, how am I going to get vacuum? Hold on a second, just the rope out of the hand right away. How am I going to get some vacuum? I've got pressure, I need a vacuum. And I thought, oh, I don't know, I've got this. What is a, a bleed kit, a brake bleed kit? Um, I bought this a couple of years ago, but I looked on eBay, and they're still doing these for about £17, including postage. Um, they do some ones with some better handles than this as well. But this, I bought this originally because I was braking motorbikes and this was ideal for bleeding all the brakes out on a, on a bike. It's, it's just about enough in there to, to do that. So I, was, I thought, so I thought well, I'll use that. Um, but that would cost you about £17. Um, Tom, you're looking at this. You're looking at another £40. So you're looking at £57, £58 there. To, to buy new off eBay, but like I say, if you've got either this or you've got that, then obviously you can save yourself a bit of money. They do do one of these, I see on eBay for about £32, 
with just vacuum and pump but that's what you need you need vacuum and pump really because obviously with this setup you connect it and then you connect it and then when you want to vacuum you've got to reconnect and, and that's a bit of a pain um, because sometimes your pipes are different sizes and it's a lot of sodden about so that's that one <coughs> and I think we'll put that one to one side <laughs> so I kept looking and I wanted like bungs and stuff like that to block the pipes off um, and fittings, different fittings so I started looking into these, this is the there you go, that's what it gives all your details of what it is I'll see if this is the other side of the thing um, but yeah, that, that's what it was showing and you get all these adapters and plugs and you'll see we use it, especially these green ones greeny blue coloured ones we um, use them all the time so this kit here bought for eBay and it was 69.75 um, but this is absolutely brilliant this piece of kit this is really really nice um, it's also got some other bits here for um, brakes and stuff but we're not using it for that um, but the gun itself is lovely i hold it still um, it's got some real weight to it as well now this does vacuum and it does vacuum and pressure um, you just turn this switch there's pressure you turn it and now you're on vacuum so you don't have to alter your setup the gauge turns so you can you can see it like I say that was 70 well 69 75 um, if you look on eBay look for this one there's another one at 69.95 there's 20p dearer um, but look for free postage because as soon as you go to buy one of these from America and that's all I could find when I was building this kit was the ones from America is they bung hey okay it's only £10 postage but because they run it through global um, eBay global um, what's it they charge around about another £20 on top of that for um, customs so yeah, it works out a bit too dear for what it is but obviously you, you so so much time with one of these setups right I'll go on to some of the, the things it's got in it and some of the things you need to make up as well right these are all the little fittings that come with that kit um, but I say this is my own I've paid for it myself I'm not been paid to to show you and I think this is not so this is my own kit uh, but all these fittings come with it um, as you can see uh, these like I say, these bungs, these are brilliant because you just shove them in the pipe, a bit of pipe there, and you just push them in, like so, and it seals it perfect. Um, when I do, this, do the tests on any like, tanks or anything like that, you will see how I use these bits, different adapters. Um, the adapter I tend to use is, is this one because um, it's thin and it fits straight into like the little tank, the little pipes on the um, strimmers and stuff like that well you are small and that's the trouble if you're going for a big pipe, you can see by the size of my fat hands um, you can see the size of pipes and you've got to get them down to them little um, little, mo little tank pipes and bits petrol pipes what are really small and try the, to get some you know, it's hard work trying to find the gear and you don't want to be messing around um, it takes minutes to test an engine, minutes to test the tank or carb, you know, so the idea is if you've got the setup to do it quick, innit, you know, you don't want to spend half an hour setting it up to do a two minute test, you know well, I'll put these away and I'll show you um, a couple of other bits you need for these are, you've got everything you need here for carb testing and petrol tank tank testing and petrol line testing and you can do petrol filters as well with everything you've got there with and that and like I say still got some other bits in here for brakes and stuff we don't need um, right but I'll show you the other bits you're gonna need for 
um, doing the crankcase leak down test. Right. Now, um, also I will do some te um, some video of some tests I do, um, and then you'll un if you haven't seen it being done before, you'll understand what these bits are for. Um, this is, looks like a spark plug. Um, they don't always look, they don't have to look like a spark plug. This is the way it comes. Um, like I was saying, on a compression test, for like a, uh, you, where you try to get the compression by turning the engine over, it plugs in a spark plug cat in the thing. You have a similar thing with this, but obviously it's not. It's, it's for putting pressure in, not taking it out. So this screws in. It's just an easy way of connecting your pipe to the engine. Because um, the important thing is when you do one of these tests, the engine doesn't turn over. <laughs> I've seen loads of people turn turn the engine over on various videos I've watched on YouTube when they're doing a leak down test, a two stroke leak down test, and if it does it, it would actually be a fail. Um, even though people say, oh look, you can see the pressure moving. Yep, that means it's a fail. <laughs> right, so that's one thing. I bought this off eBay, by the way. Um, I think it was about four, four, four quid, but because of global shipping, um, eBay nicely charged me um, Oh, I suppose it must have whatever it was to make it up to about twenty quid. <laughs> so, but you can you can must be able to pick these up over here in England for somewhere. They can't be that dear. There you go. There's no weight in them either. That's what annoyed me about the postage on it. Right, and I'll show you some the rubber bits I made up. Right, something you will need to make up if you're going to do leak down testing on. The two-stroke engine is is these. Um, this one, this is one I've made up, and it's just a piece of piece of rubber, and it slips down between the carb and the engine or the inlet or whatever there is there. On one side, and you have another one that will go down between the you're, you're losing the exhaust, and it will slide down between the exhaust and the engine or manifold or whatever's there so it blocks blocks the engine and makes it airtight um, I can't really describe it I, I can only really show you um, what I mean but these are easy to make um, this is the one thing that sort of confused me a bit because I didn't weren't too sure on how I was going to block the engine off because um, you can buy kits with grommets that fit in and you can wind them out and you start to have a lot of money and, and you're not going to have the size you want and all the rest of it. With these you can make really cheap. Um, I will do a video on how you make these. But these, like I say, these are the, 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 they, they are they three mil um, rubber gasket sheets. So you look on eBay or anywhere else, plumbers, merchants or whatever, and you look for um, rubber gasket sheets. I bought them 300 mil by 300 mil. This one, uh, I think they're about five pound. Um, yeah, they're about five pound. Um, a sheet. I'm trying to look at the door because I can hear Louis messing about. So, um, but this is yeah, like I say, 300 mil by 300 mil. Um, you get if you get them this size, you can get a load of these out of them because. That's only a rough job as you can see, but you cut these down to six inches, otherwise you cut them in half. Then you cut them down into two inches, like so. And then you cut out the size you want to slip between the two, like the carb bolts or the exhaust bolts. Um, that's the back of an air filter. Just give you an example, because this is one it's meant for, and it will slip in between. But I'll do a video and show you how to make it. It's very simple. Um, after all the aggro, I've tried to look around for bungs and whatever, and these work fairly well. Well, I'm pretty chuffed with them so far. But that's just how you make them up. And I bought another lot because obviously I only had a couple of these, so I thought, well, I'll buy some big sheets and I can just make them up as I go. And they come in handy for other things as well. Um, I'm trying to think what else I used to mention about this kit. Um, right, so I know some more bits. Hold on. Right, I know something else I've got to show you. 
Um, the other thing you need is soapy water. We're just washing up liquid in a squirty bowl. Um, cheaper the better, the dearer stuff, the name stuff. Um, seems a bit more sticky in these, all your pipes and everything all sticky. I mean, this dust but it's not so bad. Um, yeah, it doesn't, you don't need a lot, of, a lot of washing up liquid in there. Um, but you spray this when you've got an air leak, and that's it. That way you find your holes when things are under pressure. Or any leaks, I should say, rather than any holes. Um, I think that's it. This is the kit I'm going to be using on all the tests. What you see me do. Just I find it so much conven more convenient than because I'm just switch a switch for the pressure and the vacuum. It's a mighty vac MV um, uh, 8500. Um, you can buy. Another reason I think I like about it is you can buy everything for it so you can buy a complete kit to redo your gun all the seals, springs, um, gauges, everything you can buy separate um, if you want to buy just the gun they do sell just the gun on eBay um, be careful though because they do different guns and some are just vacuum and some are just pressure obviously you want both and the easy way to tell it doesn't say, some listings are a bit funny as you know is to look at the gauge. Uh, as you can see, the gauge on this one is not very clear. I know. I'll try and focus it in a bit. Yeah, it's not really working. But you can see the needles in them, sort of halfway or in the middle. Uh, the kids are making loads of noise. But um, so you can tell it goes one way for vacuum, one way for pressure. Um, whereas if you buy a vacuum one or a pressure to pressure one, the gauge will be one side. So yeah, but that's a nice little kit. Um, like I say, you're looking at about 70 quid, 69, 75 I paid. Uh, now we can see that's got all the info on it. And like I say, this is my own gun. Uh, not being paid to promote it, but I definitely think that's good value. Well, when you see the amount of work that will save, um, it's sort of unbelievable. Um, and I will be like so I will be doing so keep an eye on my channel because I will be doing a pressure test a vacuum test on the petrol tank uh, chainsaw petrol tanks are different to um, the trimmers and we you know most other little two stroke engines so I will have to do one for chainsaws as well um, yeah I'll do a carb test as well um, carb test is good as well because it saves you stripping the carb down if you don't need it um, yeah, I've got a few other little things I'm going to show you as well. What I've got, I've even got this little. I've only really got the box here because it's this little Mojack um, stand. Of, well, it's, it's called a jack. They call it a mo push mower lift. That's going to come up soon. And I thought it was a bit of a gimmick. I've got to be honest with you. Um, but I bought it because I just got fed up putting bits of wood underneath them and lifting them up like that. Um, but that's a brilliant little tool, <laughs> it's really good. But obviously I'll show you that soon. But obviously I'm going to do the pressure test and well, there'll be the next lot of videos I do. So um, keep an eye out for them. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Um, all the usual sort of stuff. Um, yeah, got some more subscribers again. I'm, I'm well well chuffed. Um, I haven't had much chance to get back to reply on some of the comments. I'm a bit running behind on that. Well, I hope to do them in the next couple of days. Um, I, d I like the sort of replies I can. Um, yeah, right, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.